My name is Sean Madej, and I'm an Earth Enterprise Engineer at Google. Today I want to introduce a neat way to use HTML5 elements to enhance the Google Earth and Google Maps user experience. The demonstrations in this video will focus on two new features of HTML5, the drag and drop API and the file API. The drag and drop API allows your browser to interact with the draggable item like a file. The file API allows your browser to use a JavaScript based reader to open a file and get its contents. Rich features like these were only available in older browsers through the use of third-party applets like Flash and Java. The first example I have to show is a page that enables the Google Earth Browser plugin to accept KML files that are being dragged and dropped into the browser. There are many ways to interact with draggable objects in HTML5. In this example, I've created a div with a dashed outline, and I've used a KML file icon as the background image to clearly communicate to the user what input the page is expecting. Any of these style preferences can be tweaked using CSS and JavaScript. I'm just demonstrating one potential design option to get you thinking about the art of the possible. As you see, I'll grab the simple KML file from the desktop and drop it in the div area that is wired to the file API event listener. When I release the mouse, the file is parsed and the KML tags are sent to the Google Earth API. Now I'll do the same thing with a slightly more complex KML file. I click and drag the file to the browser's hotspot release the mouse, and the KML is pushed to the Google Earth plugin. This approach makes it very easy for any user to present their local KML content to an instance of the Google Earth plugin. While these examples are simple parsing demonstrations, this drag and drop methodology could be used to trigger a more significant programmatic event like a file upload. The next example will add a geocoding function to the workflow. For this illustration, I've created a simple CSV file with the name and address of a dozen or so Google offices in the United States. I've also changed the styling of my page drag and drop hotspot to reflect that the code is expecting the user to present a CSV file. On the JavaScript side, I've added a Google Maps function that will geocode each address line from the file as it's read through the HTML5 API. So now, with the same simple drag and drop motion, I'll pull the CSV to the browser and release. When I do so, the lines are geocoded and displayed as individual yellow pushpin placemarks on the Google Earth plugin instance. All of this functionality was built on top of the Google Earth plugin without requiring any additional software add-ins. It just took a few lines of JavaScript. That's the genius and beauty of HTML5. The code used to construct these examples is open sourced and freely available to anyone online at www.sigax.com html5. Please check out these code snippets and use them to make your own great Google Earth and Google Maps applications. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to contact me by email or find me on Twitter.